back. Greetings, everyone. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Heath Robinson, and in this lesson, we're going to be talking about basic cartographic principles. Cartography is, of course, map making. How do you make maps? And the first thing I want to talk to you about is why cartography is so important. Uh, why do we study cartography when we study geographic information systems? Well, the first is that because traditionally, maps have been the predominant way of conveying information about geographic phenomenon. Uh, it's been very, very common uh, to create representations of geographic phenomenon on a two-dimensional surface. Uh, paper maps, of course, very common, but even going back uh, to maps which have been put onto clay tablets in uh, early history. So there's a tremendous amount of information about the Earth in map form. And then, of course, when computers came along, we were able to start digitizing maps. And a lot of the analytical methodology that we have in geographic information systems actually comes out of an analytical cartography uh, sort of tradition where people executed these different techniques manually uh, with hard copy maps. And then the, not only the data, the maps became digitized, but also the methodology as well. So we have this uh, tradition of cartography uh, that geographic information science sort of came out of. But also, uh, we use geographic information systems to produce maps. Not only do we get a lot of data in map form and digitize that and put that into the computer system, but very, very frequently we use data that is in the system to produce a map. It's very, very frequently the case that the end result of any kind of GIS analysis is communicated in map form, very commonly. Uh, there are other ways, to, of course, to communicate the results of GIS analysis written reports, uh, oral presentations, and such. But even those are often augmented by maps. And so it's very important to be able to produce a high quality map in order to communicate the results of whatever analysis that you are doing. Plus, it's important to study cartography and map making in order to make you an educated consumer of maps. Even if you don't end up uh, becoming a GIS specialist, you still need to know how maps work uh, and what it takes to produce them, and how maps can be wrong, or how maps may even distort uh, some aspect of reality uh, when you are consuming maps, when you're using them, uh, when you see them on the news, or when you see them in a newspaper, or in a magazine, or somebody has made up some kind of map uh, to put on a blog and is trying to communicate some information to you in map form. Uh, it's very, very important to be an educated consumer of that kind of information and understand uh, where a, someone may have actually gone wrong in creating uh, their map. And I'm going to show you some examples of that as well. Uh, so even some very highly uh, regarded publication outlets have produced maps that have been very, very inaccurate and have actually conveyed uh, very inaccurate information. And so we need to be at least be aware of that uh, whenever we see maps. So those are some very good reasons that we want to study uh, maps and what it takes to produce them uh, in this course. Maps are also very interesting because they are the only, or if they are not the only, uh, they are one of the very few documents that are simultaneously scientific documents. Okay, they're communicating scientific information, but they can also be artistic. They can be works of art. So whenever you're doing cartography, whenever you're making maps, you have to be thinking in both uh, modes of thought. You have to be thinking about uh, the science behind the map, all of the technical components of the map, making sure that all of the information is accurate, uh, and all of that aspect. But then you can also use your creative side uh, to make sure that the map is interesting to look at, uh, is something that people want to view, uh, that complements uh, a publication that you're working on, uh, fits within a particular theme, or is something that people want to hang on their walls. So cartography is a really neat uh, discipline in that respect because you get to think about both of those things. And so whenever you're producing a map, you have to get both right. So I want to talk about uh, both sides of that, the scientific aspect uh, and the artistic aspect, because you have to be thinking in both modes of thought. One of those alone is not going to produce an effective map, particularly one that's suitable for uh, publication of the results of GIS analysis. Uh, so that's another reason why we have to look at all aspects uh, of cartography here. So what I'm going to do is talk about some basic cartographic principles, 
and then also what every map that you produce, what it has to have, what kind of information needs to be communicated on a map, and how do you produce a good one.